Hi there, Pioneer Field Agronomist Joe Eiltz. In this video we're going to talk about stand assessments for winter rye and winter wheat. I'll be sourcing University of Minnesota as well as University of Wisconsin data to help guide us through this quick walkthrough. And both institutions agree that we're aiming for 750,000 plants per acre to qualify as a viable stand. It'd be awfully hard to go out and count that many plants over an acre. So we found a way to condense that down, make it much easier to do that type of assessment. So on broadcasted acres, we use our handy square foot measuring device to count the number of live plants per square foot. Now the University of Minnesota tells us that 17 live plants is the number to shoot for, whereas the Wisconsin data suggests that 12 to 15 live plants is an optimal stand. So as we count the number of live plants in here, pick and choose your university to rely upon. If we agree that somewhere in the 15 range is the number to shoot for, if we average both universities' numbers, I think it's a good number to go with. Now, if you're not broadcasting, if you've actually drilled your small grain, rather than using this device, what we're actually gonna do is count the number of plants in a foot of row space. And here, the University of Minnesota agrees that we should be targeting about 10 plants per foot of row space, whereas the University of Wisconsin suggests that nine plants per foot of row space is the optimal number to shoot for. So that's how you quickly do a stand assessment for viable small grains using very simple methodology to simply count the number of live plants per foot of row space or square foot. Thanks for watching another Pioneer Agronomy video. We'll see you next time. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.